so we are going to learn AutoCAD in this tutorial from scratch suppose I have this AutoCAD open so first you can see here the version of the AutoCAD then here the current drawing open so drawing 3 is running there and dot dwg is the extension of the AutoCAD file then these are the ribbons they have arranged the commands group wise here draw draw command group modify command group is there layers command group is there then this black screen is actually the drawing area whatever, whatever drawing we will be creating that will be created in this black screen area then this is command line or command prompt area here also you can view the commands and these are the different switches are there so th this is the user interface of AutoCAD so at first what we have to do in AutoCAD at first we have to set the limit as per our drawing suppose I want to create this drawing so the length of this drawing is 75 so I am creating the drawing in mm so I have to set the limit more than this suppose I need extra space on the left side also and on the right side also so 100 by 100 space is sufficient that space I will set using limits command you can directly type it from the keyboard just type limits so automatically it will complete the command you don't have to type all the characters from the limit if you type first three character it will com uh, complete the command then select it from this then he is asking me to specify the lower left corner so I will always be keeping the lower left corner at 0 comma 0 position that means x will be 0 and y will be 0 once you key in the lower left corner then press enter then he is asking me for the upper right corner so m I have decided for 100 comma 100 then press enter so this limit AutoCAD have accepted I want to apply this limit to the screen for that you have to go here and select zoom all command so it will apply the limit and this point is the 0 0 point where red line and green line is meeting that is the zero zero point you can draw on any side it is not actually the bonding then here line command has been given if you want to create a line so this command you can directly uh, for line command you can directly click here or if you want to do it from keyboard then you have to give the first character so for maximum commands first character is sufficient if the particular command is not act activated by first character then you can give the first uh, first two character so I can key in from keyboard also if I press l, l the line command will be available for me so in this way I can use it from keyboard also if you want to cancel a particular command you have to press escape on the keyboard so if you want to give line command from here click on the line then he is asking me to specify the first point so you can click anywhere you want to st start line from then if I want this line very straight then you can make it you have to make this ortho mode on from this point click on this then give the direction in which direction you want to go and put the length of the line suppose I want to create a line of 90 distance then key in the 19 then press enter suppose I want to go up so take your mouse cursor vertical in vertical direction again put the length what length you want and press enter again I want to go to the left side again put the length press enter if while drawing the line command if you make some mistake and you want to cancel the last line then here undo option is there you just click on the undo the last line will be cancelled then again give the length suppose I want to connect this line to start point if you want to connect end point and start point then 
close option is here just click on the close option that close option will complete the line command once the command line is empty that means your command is completed if you want to remove this object you can use the erase command and if you want to give it from keyboard you can press E enter also so erase then is asking me to select object which I want to erase just click on the object it will become dotted that means those object has been selected here also it is showing four total object has been selected press once you have selected all the object press enter so in this way the erase command will be completed again I want to create a line then select again line command give the first point suppose I want to create an inclined line not a straight line then again you, ha you have to click here ortho mode you can also activate ortho mode from keyboard by pressing F8 key if you press the F8 key ortho will be on if you press again F8 key ortho will be off when creating an inclined line you have to give the length and the angle so you can directly key in the length and for going to angle you have to press tab on the keyboard so you can specify the angle from the x axis how many angle do you want suppose I want to draw a line in 30 degree so you can bring it by mouse or you can also key in the value then press enter so a line will be created in 30 degree from the x axis if I want to go on the left side again put the length then press tab to give the angle then you can specify the angle if I want to go on this side then you have to specify the complete angle what angle you want suppose I want to go in 120 degree so you can give 120 degree enter again I want to go on the downward side again key in the length press tab give the angle so when you are coming down it will automatically calculate the angle from the lower side again you have to give the angle 150 degree suppose I want to give enter and you can click on the close to close the object again I don't need this object I will erase it press enter suppose I have one line I have created one line I want it straight so I will press F8 on the keyboard enter again line I have these two lines suppose I want to create one line from this point to this point so you can go to the end corner it shows you the end point it is called as object snap so it will automatically catch end point for you just click on that it will automatically start from the end point I want to go up to this end point then I want to go to the midpoint but if you see it is not showing the midpoint AutoCAD is not showing the midpoint so for that you have to go here on the object snap click on the right, li uh, right click on that and click on the midpoint so midpoint option will be on and it will show you the midpoint automatically so I want to go to end point end point if you don't want the straight line you can make the ortho off now I want to draw this line now it is showing this line will be created up to the midpoint but I don't want to create the line up to midpoint I want to make this line perpendicular to this line that means if you want to choose a different object snap that then what AutoCAD is showing then you have to hold shift key on the keyboard and right click the mouse button you have to right click shift hold shift key and right click and select the option you want so I want the which object snap you want that you have to select so I want to use perpendicular just click on the perpendicular and click on the line to which you want this line to be perpendicular then if you want to come out in between then you have to press enter on the keyboard so you in this way the line will be completed suppose I want to create a circle then circle command is there you can also give C on the keyboard and press enter if you want to give it from keyboard then circle then he is asking me to specify center point for circle then suppose I want to draw at this midpoint then I click there 
then you have to specify the radius what radius you want from the keyboard I want the 10 radius so 10 radius circle is created again circle center point where you want you have to click there and then specify the radius I want the 15 radius as we seen in the line command it was showing end point midpoint perpendicular now in the case of circle he is showing the center point if you want him to show the quadrant points also then again you have to right click on the object snap button here and then select the quadrant option then it will show the quadrant also so you can create a line passing through all the quad quadrants it will show you it automatically and you can connect it to center press enter to come out of the command suppose I want to create one line from this end point to tangent to this circle now it is again showing me the end point but I want this line tangent to the circle so again I have to press shift on the keyboard and right click right click the mouse then select the tangent option here then click on the circle it will create the tangent line press enter to come out if you make any mistake if you want to cancel complete command then you have to uh, complete last command then you have to press here undo button is there you can undo last command and here is the redo button is there if you want to bring it back if you want to save this drawing you have to click here click on the save then select the folder where you want to save it give the name and save so in uh, in that folder with that name it will be saved if you want to close this current drawing click on this X then it will close the current drawing if you want to start the new drawing click on the new then clear uh, select the CAD template and open so a new drawing will be started if you want to see th the drawing just we have saved then click on this open button select the drawing and open so new uh, your drawing will be open so that's all thanks for joining we will stop here